Good morning, world. It is currently 7 o'clock. We got up at 6.30 and the sun is just rising now here for us. Yeah, we're gonna go see elephants. That's right, today is the elephant tour, so we're waiting to get picked up. We're gonna go feed them, bathe them, and check out some live elephants. Check out these clothes! Stylish. Dressed and ready. was cool. That was all pretty sweet. What did you think, Alicia? Best ever. Really. Feeding them bananas, them splashing water and blowing the water out of their trunks like a fountain. Some cool times. So, definitely recommend it. I mean, everyone obviously knows that in Thailand anyways, but Elephant Sanctuary. A sanctuary, not a park, because sanctuaries are a lot more animal friendly. And it's pretty remarkable. Now for a long ride back. Good morning. <laughs> so, yesterday we went and saw the elephants. We got to play with them and everything and that was super fun. Super fun. Super, super, super fun. And now today we're off to the Chiang Mai Zoo. The zoo, I love the zoo. Luke really loves animals, so we're really excited to go see the zoo. Zoo and aquarium. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Why is he playing peekaboo? By the looks of the map, this zoo looks huge. It's hilarious. They let you bring your car in here or your scooter and you just drive around the zoo and park at whatever animals you want to go see. Unfortunately, we don't have that luxury, but we'll be getting our steps in. Oh! Jumping jeepers! Do you want one? Oh, yeah. There you go. You want one over there? There you go. Feed your babies. Feed your babies. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's the last leaf. Ten bot to feed the sheep. I'll just leave to get their food again. Yeah, okay, back to the hay. See ya. Was it worth ten bot? Definitely, that was crazy. <laughs> they look definitely appreciated that, those little sheepers. Oh my god, we're at the elephant. Ooh. And I think I just saw a sign that says 10 baht to feed him. Oh man, we 
were so excited to see the small wildcat exhibit, but it's closed. No. So sad. <laughs> and you know, the zoo wasn't even that expensive. No. <laughs> 50 baht per dish. That's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Okay, we're at like 14,000 steps today, just in the zoo area. We decided to get some exercise instead of paying for the shuttle. A little fitness in. And it's a kilometer until the next exhibit. Oh boy. We can do it. We can do it. We've made the top of the hill and we're descending down the walk on the far side of the park. It's nice at least and it's in the shade. It's a bit cooler than in that hot sun, so. A bridge? Yeah. Let's check it out. Ooh, nice bridge. These are some steep stairs. We made it to the next exhibit. Oh. It wasn't even that bad. That wasn't terrible. Wasn't Top of the hill. Good view. <laughs> perimeter we've basically been everywhere we checked out the aquarium I think we've conquered the zoo yeah this is a nice zoo here and it's cheap too 150 baht for the zoo I mean we spent the entire day here it's closing time yeah it's almost closing time and we had a lot of fun so for 150 baht it's pretty good for the zoo 350 for the zoo and aquarium combo pass the aquarium was really cool too but I would say if you're short on time or you're looking for the best bang for your buck, you're on a tight budget, maybe skip out on the aquarium. Yeah, it wasn't that like for you gotta think it was a bit more expensive. I'm not sure two hundred to do the aquarium and there was no like whale shark or anything just like phenomenal. You can even walk down the runway to the aquarium and just go as far as you can before you actually enter the aquarium and you still see all the koi and you see a lot of fish down the walkway. So Yeah. Money saving. We're trying to find our way out of the zoo and we stumbled upon this like old road. We're in Jurassic Park 1. It kind of feels like that. There, there was a bunch of old exhibits that were either empty or had some birds in them. And then now we're on this like old road. It's abandoned. Yeah. They have this um, like old tram rail throughout the whole park and it's here also and then they have like an old welcome to Chiang Mai Zoo sign. Where are we? I want to take my goat for a run. Come on goat! Come on goat! Oh the camera is gonna jump at you. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Luke and his animals. He's beating you. He's got four legs. I only have two. Come on. He's a Chinese Cero. He's so sad to see us go. Look, say goodbye to your friend. Goodbye, tiny arrows. Oh, you want to lick me, but I don't want to be licked. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. That was our farewell. Are you sad? If you come to the Chiang Mai Zoo, visit my tiny Yaros friend for me. <laughs> oh. Oh. That was an exhausting day. It was really fun, though. We got to see a bunch of different animals and even just walking around the park was nice, seeing all of the different vegetation and there's some cool like bridges and jungle walks and, type, and things like that. It's been basically the whole day there. We got there just like an hour after opening I think and we stayed there until it closed at 5 so long day there. If you're going to Chiang Mai Zoo expect to spend 
a good part of the day there at least. There's a lot to see, a lot to walk. <laughs> it's a good time. Join us next time when we visit Chiang Mai's busiest night market, the Sunday Night Market. Explore the popular Nimmin area and even a little bit of its nightlife.